is one of three women for January and February. This is my February presentation. My presentation is, I have three projects. Um, one is a junk journal. I make these from paper bags. This is from the bottom of the paper bag all the way up to the crease, which makes my flap. All right, so what I did was I took the small stencil and made a medallion um, with my jelly printing. And then you open it up, and what I do is I use um, awesome duct tapes um, for whatever do, uh, theme I'm using, right? So then what I do is I make um, tags from the stencils on the jelly plate. I'm just slightly addicted to that one, the jelly plate. So I make big tags. Look at that, that's really cool. All of them have awesome fibers on them. And then over on this side of my journal, or this journal is uh, tagged small ones. So my die cut makes small and large, and I just make these. These are great for bookmarks in your cookbook or a book that you're reading. You can write um, aspirations or dreams or anything you want. Um, and then I use, um, because it's a junk journal, I just use all my blotted paper. Um, I left this on the top because this is my tribe stencil from Carolyn Doobie because this is being sent to one of my tribe, Sherry Canino. She has been waiting for her happy mail from me since October when my mother's health went downhill severely and I've just had uh, between work and voices and my mom, uh, it's just been crazy and she's been extremely patient. So this is my I'm sorry, I'm thinking of you and sending lots of love gift that's coming with the happy mail. So this is Sherry Canino's. My second project, when I opened up the stencils that showed up for January and February, as soon as I saw this, it screamed Zentangle immediately. I am a traditional black and white Zentangler, but this is a way I can add some color and some pop. And when I put all my black and white uh, Zentangle around here, this is just going to be the most awesome piece of art. And I will post it when I am done um, so you can see what it actually looks like. But this is just absolutely fabulous. You can also cut your circles out and put them in your art journal. But this is just another way of not cutting it and using all of these uh, lines. And I have the oops because I painted outside the lines. My pen slipped. But in the end, it's going to be perfectly imperfect, which is the theme for the month. So all of the projects are perfectly imperfect. My uh, junk journal is because I am perfectly imperfect for sending the happy mail. This is just how life goes. It just happens, and we have to roll with that. So this is really cool. My last project, not quite finished, and I do apologize, but the budget cuts happened um, after the holidays. So this is the deal. These are made on vellum with alcohol inks and um, I really like how this looks because it really lends the thought process of the perfectly imperfect for the month but upon watching um, some YouTubes um, I'm thinking Yupo paper if you want good boundaries better crispness with your alcohol inks you're definitely going to want to use the Yupo paper but if you're looking for that perfectly imperfect um, window like glass stained glass window look that's what you're going to want but what this is going to do is these are going to be housed in my windows but they're going to be obviously sun catchers because they're absolutely gorgeous but in the nighttime when we pull the shades down they're going to be shade poles as well so they're a duo combo I am going to take my cereal boxes my snack boxes and I'm going to take my die cuts and I'm going to make my frames out of those so I will layer two circle frames on the front, two circle frames on the back, and it'll give it enough stability to um, have, I love this, this is the perfectly imperfect, I had it upside down, I apologize. But I love how everything is imperfect and it's just there, and I love the stained glass look. This is gonna add a lot of beauty to my windows of my new home. This one, it looks like pansies, the, the colors that I use, and I really love that because it just brings my dad's spirit into my home. He used to love pansies, so that kind of has that pansy look a little bit to me. Maybe more the color, but that's all right. It still makes me happy. This is uh, the medallion that I used on my junk journal, also sun catcher material. So I just wanted to thank you. I'm leaving you with some of my sun catchers as we exit out of the video. I wanted to thank Stencil Girls for giving me the opportunity to be a voice I really wanted to say thank you to the Stencil Club for letting me share with you my projects. I've had a great time, and I want to thank you, and I hope you have a great day.